so what we look for in our pilots, it's, it's, a, it's a list of many things. Obviously, in the beginning, you have, to be, you have to be skilled at what you do. You have to have all your ratings and licenses that, that are required to be a pilot. But uh, I think more than that, um, anybody can go check the boxes of give, becoming a pilot for the most part. Uh, so you kind of look for, for something a little bit more, you know, the personality type that kind of fits our corporate culture. We're a relatively um, young company. Uh, I don't say that from an inexperienced standpoint, but from a, um, uh, from a standpoint that, that uh, we all have kind of forward thinking, technology driven, that kind of sense. So we try to find people that are, you know, like-minded with that. Uh, and ultimately, someone that you can spend time with, you know, for, for a pilot standpoint, um, a lot of times it's two pilots on the road for a week to 10 days together and you want to be able to spend time with, with someone that's, for lack of a better word, not going to drive you crazy after seven days. So it's kind of a mix of obviously safety and training and experience is, is first and foremost. But again, in, in this industry, there's lots of, thankfully, lots of people like that out there. So we try to go a step further and find someone that really fits the, uh, the mold of our company. It's, it's a tough balancing act. Um, really with the pilots, it's a... It, it can be quite difficult because our industry, the the pilots are in front of the, the client directly. It's not you know some guy in a computer in, in a back room that no one ever meets. You're you're talking about someone who not only has to be great at, at operating this machine um, and very detail oriented, but they also have to have a great personality to where they can relate directly with with you know a high net worth client um, and. It's, it's a delicate balance.